Hi everybody, Angela Ackerman, Independent Sensing Consultant. Today I'm trying, I'm going to, um, well, I'm on lunch break, so I'm trying to do this in my day job in my office at work, so apologize for that. But uh, I wanted to go through my warming basket for the month of August because we're already on August 3rd, I've already started warming stuff, um, but I wanted to let you know what I decided that I was going to try to warm uh, for this month. So the first one is, um, and, and I'm going to say most of them, or at least 10 of them, are going to be the new 10 cents, or the, the 10 new cents to the catalog. So the first one is Spiced Ember Glow, and this one is Smoked Apple Toasted Vanilla over Cinnamon Embers offer a warm and inviting escape. I will say I've already started warming this one. I, I, well, I already have warmed with this one, and this is going to be a favorite of mine for this this season. I'm sure of it. Uh, I love the cinnamon smell, and then it had a, a mild um, that it's the vanilla. It had a mild vanilla smell. You could definitely smell the apples. This one was just so good to me. So this one is definitely going to be something that continues for the season for me. Uh, next up, we have a graham cracker crunch. Now this one, um, this one is a, it's obviously a bakery scent. It's caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and vanilla bean, a uh, creamy vanilla bean. Now this one, it's a little weird because like the bottom, I'm not smelling all of the scents together. The top of it, I smell the vanilla and the graham cracker. And then on the bottom, obviously I can't pop this one out today. Oh, there it goes. In the bottom, I smell the peanut butter. So I'm really looking forward to um, melting it and smelling it all together. Okay, number three on my list, cinnamon buttercream. This one is let this heartwarming medley of baked cinnamon, spiced apples, and decadent vanilla buttercream be the icing that finishes your holiday decor. Now this one smells really nice as well. I like pretty much anything cinnamon anyway, so uh, just the cinnamon and a little bit of sweet. I'm looking forward to melting this one. Okay, eucalyptus wreath. Fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. Now this one, when I first, when I do my cold sniff, I feel like this one is going to be one of my favorites this season. Um, I really like the uh, juniper scent, the mint. Yeah, I think this one is going to probably be a good one for me. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that one melts. Next on the list, we have Tinselberry. This one's going to be another favorite of mine. It was really hard to choose uh, the favorites from the top 10 or the new 10 new scents because I really liked most of them. So this one is strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. And you can smell, you can definitely smell the cranberry and the strawberry and the cinnamon. Yeah, no, I'm, it's really tough to, to find one, uh, you know, like the top 10 because, or top five in the top 10 because they're just smell so good. Okay, so the next one, this one is the one that I don't care for. <laughs> and this is a uh, Blue Sage and Tonka. And this is Revel in the Riches of Midnight Sage Black Lavender over the sultry sweetness of Tonka Bean. Now this one to me, it just smells like, it smells like a man scent. It smells like cologne. I did have to look up what Tonka bean was um, because I didn't know. And it's, it says Tonka bean has a sweet, spicy fragrance that's reminiscent of vanilla and almond. And then it says in oriental fragrances, Tonka bean displays a honeyed facet with fruity undertones. When used in combination with citrus notes, it plays up the freshness and can also balance out the sourness of notes like grapefruit. So, all of that being said, I still don't know that I smell vanilla in any shape, even a almond vanilla. So, 
we'll see how this one plays out. It might be better than I think. Okay, Harvest Blessings. So this one is Radiant Apple, Spiced Pumpkin, and Smooth Oak embody everything you love about autumn. I like anything apple and spice, pumpkin. So this one should be pretty good. Then we have a pomegranate Prosecco. This one I think I will like as well. It says delectable rosemary and pomegranate at an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. So it does smell, it's kind of weird how they can make it smell like bubbly. Because it does, it, it smells like you should have bubbles in a drink that are, you know, tingling your nose when you smell it. Which is weird to me. Okay. Uh, cashmere and corduroy. Wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian, bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. So this one, I definitely can smell the vanilla on the top and the sandalwood on the bottom, uh, but it's not an overwhelming smell of sandalwood. So I'll be interested to see um, how this one melts and if I like it because the last sandalwood one I did, which was satin sheets, was actually too strong and I just didn't even care for it. So, okay. And we have Scarlet Sunflower, which is juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. Now when I first, this one does fall into the fruity category and I can smell the juicy apple. I don't know that I can smell red cranberry, but I can smell a, flower, a floral scent. So it'll be... And I've, I've seen somebody else's review on this one, and they really liked it on Cold Sniff, but then when they melted it, it wasn't quite what they thought it was going to be. So this one was one of my top that I really liked, so we'll see what it's like once I melt it. Then I'm going to do um, Jumping Jelly Bean. This is crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon, and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. And this one, it just it smells just like the... Um, pink pear uh, jelly bean from Jelly Belly Factory, so which is my favorite, and so we'll see how that one. And this one is actually in my club. It's no longer available, so okay, then I'm going to do a couple of mixes. So I decided I'm going to do uh, Johnny Appleseed and apple butter frosting. Now, apple butter frosting does have a little bit of hint of apple, but not quite enough apple for me. So I think that I will like it if I add a little bit more apple scent. So that's what I'm gonna try. And hopefully that Johnny Appleseed doesn't just totally overpower it and get rid of the sweet, but we'll see. And then next on the ones I'm going to do are black raspberry vanilla and then vanilla bean buttercream. Um, and this is just because I saw it on Pinterest and thought, oh, okay, well, I'll try that one. So we'll see how that, that extra hint of vanilla for the black raspberry vanilla does. I'm also going to try a uh, mocha doodle and coconut lemongrass. Now my... I'm trying to get like a scent of maybe like a um, like a lemon cake or like a lemon cupcake between the two. So we'll see how that goes too. And then my final combination that I'm gonna try is a lemon sorbet and blueberry cheesecake. And again, I'm trying to get that blueberry lemon um, cupcake smell. And so we will, and then I'm hoping that I can use up the, oops, the rest of my lemon sorbet bar. And I'm hoping to get rid of my mocha doodle. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to utilize some of these bars up as part of um, just getting rid of some, some bars that uh, need to be gone through. So, 
Um, so that's what I'm going to be melting for the month of August. And I'm sure that I'm probably adding a couple of extra. So what are you melting this month? And uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day.